us an invitation for you to join the conversation as well. To start the conversation in our studio this morning is a gentleman of the fourth esteem of the REM and the Public Affairs Analyst, Honorable Desmond Fowobi Olariwaju. Good morning to you, sir. Good morning, Beatles, and it's good to be in your studio once more. Now, gentlemen, let's get straight into the first discussion of the day. It's uh, over the sad future as a report uh, by the Daily uh, Blueprint this morning captured the failed assassination attempt on the life of the 45th President of the United States of America. President Bola Metinibu has joined other world leaders to condemn this in strong terms. Uh, would see some of the visuals and many were asking with the tight security presence around rallies how this young man mr crooks who is now demised managed to beat security and get as close as grazing the ear of mr trump you see uh, the the concept of security sometimes uh, it divides whatsoever measure you put in place sometimes and that is why human security and social inclusion is very much more important you know security is beyond the hardwares and having surveillance and having people uh, intelligence and inclusivity and working intelligence matters a lot human intelligence and relationship is more important in terms of security beyond some of these architectures and you see you know america as a country and what police can boast at any time as having stringent and strong security network in the world but what happened also exposes some of the internal issues that we may be having or people might be having in countries unlike america so that is to tell you that conflict as a concept it is a natural phenomenon in every part of the world either in the poor south or the rich north but what I want to bring out from this is that everything has also helped. Even the Thai security and the surveillance and everything has helped. And that was why it was able to neutralize. At the end of the day, if it were to be some third or developing countries, maybe the young man would have succeeded and even escaped. So for the fact that the, ma the young man did not succeed, to tell you, to, it's also give kudos to the security network, the security of America, and ripping that young guy is also something that we should give if we were to be in nigeria or some i don't want to mention nigeria if we were to be in africa and some developing country you see that it would have succeeded and the guy would have made with just like Boko Haram is having their feet in nigeria now for the fact that uh, mr crooks was even able to fire a shot towards um, mr trump and you know he missed him by just a few uh, inches yes. hitting his ear yes. if that had been a direct hit and mr crooks was neutralized would you have considered that a, an actual successful assassination um first i i tell you that young man uh, who attempt uh, to assassinate uh donald trump yes. you know it would have put in so much effort to see that he hit his target he was not as a, as at the time he was not monitored he had all the time he had all the technology yes. To see that it hits his target, uh -huh. but there are some circumstances, maybe security, strategic locations, and all that that prevented it. Impossible. 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 So it just hit. the hard to have a direct hit. Now, now if you would also uh, recall that from uh, reports regarding uh, who the um, attempt, the assassinator is, uh, he is actually a registered Republican in the U.S. Now some people have argued that this is probably an inside job by the secret service to take out trump what do you make of these allegations and why do you think a republican would want to take out trump uh, a democrat uh, a republican yes would want to take out trump i wouldn't want to go deep i wouldn't want to go deep into that conversation uh, because I don't know the sources, I don't know the people mentioned. If you have mentioned maybe uh, Obama, Clinton had made that allegation, I would have maintained or give a strong uh, now, debate were, in were, respect to that. Takes, these were takes that uh, people made on X. I, I, was in a, I was in a conversation with a couple of friends yesterday about what happened in America, and we're just having natural you know, conversation as regards the reason why would anybody want to take down Trump? And could it be a democrat or republican could it be like he planned a stage to gain public sympathy could it be that he's becoming a threat to democrat and all that you know so 
we're just having a normal gist, but we're not able to achieve any uh, logical conclusion because investigation is ongoing. Even the guy's account was deleted on Facebook and all that. So let's leave it for American intelligence and security experts. In the next few days, I trust America they would come up because it would be good for the government of America uh, by Joe Biden to set up a committee to investigative committee to ensure that they bring this investigation to a logical conclusion so it will make more sense to the people of the world i believe that is already on the way that is what we need to be now while speculations patients. are greeting this development uh, investigations are the suspects home have found bombs in his car and his house as well and much like honorable desmond has said this morning he hopes that the intelligence abroad will be able to come with a conclusive statement as to who is behind this attack now the adage is that dead men tell no tales so you can ask mr crew Oh, well, we'll look at some of the assets from social media and when we come back we'll now turn our attention to national issues of concerns as captured on the dailies stay with us with us this morning let's uh, revisit more newspapers this morning as we expand the focus of our conversations in light with prominent national issues of concern now it will be recalled that the current administration had declared a state of emergency on food security now they had taken other measures following the conclusion of the federal executive council meeting held last week and much of this has been premised on a 150 days window for duty-free food importation this morning the matrix newspaper leads with that in its lead story well um let's take a look at the matrix newspaper again beetle uh it reads tinubu's food import policy additional raises alarm goes further to say that um, to state that once Nigeria cannot import its way out of food insecurity. Cautions against turning into a food import dependent nation. Finally, it reads policy short term measures to address rising food prices, according to uh, the President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Now, listening to Mr. President, he says this is just a short term measure. Uh, many are warning that the former administration of President Muhammad Buhari had placed a ban on food importation to allow farmers yes. produce. They're now I'm saying that in as much as that policy looks to have not bared its intended purpose, with this decision to take the lift of the ban on importation, make it even any better. Uh, first of all, I would like to commend Mr. President for that. We cannot because uh, we want to grow the economy by hook or by force and they will now uh, allow Nigerians to die of hunger and starvation and uh, uh, unbearable inflation of food in the market. Why the policy by pre uh, President uh, Muhammad Buhari and uh, the ban on the importation of food to the country is a very good policy that will give increase to local production of food and make us more sufficient and independent on food. Is a good one. We welcomed it. Even when prices of things was uh, rising as at that time, yes. we also, along the line, we had a stable economy and uh, the, the pressure was reduced on FS for the importation of food at some point. Though, that policy has not yielded the expected result. But nevertheless, we are working in progress and but because of the fuel because of the uh, removal of, of the fuel of of subsidy yes. the whole situation looks as if there have now been effort made by president monobuari policy because there was so much inflation there was so much starvation and the country is beginning to lose its uh its, its strength well well back then uh when when there was um, a ban on importation of food it sort of helped uh local producers you know to uh grow bigger because there was very little of course. competition uh, of from course external uh, of course know, forces but but back then also we noticed or you would recall that there was also a lot of complaint that the government had banned importation of food but was not making adequate um, measures or taking adequate steps to ensuring that the local producers are well supported so that their yields you know would um, yield more profit. Uh, Shijuke, let me tell you this. Um, why that policy is a good policy? Because there is no time that is wrong.
to do the right thing. But was the federal government supporting local producers? Of course. In See, what, let me what, tell, what, let what me, way? In what thank way? you so much. You know, the federal government through President Bola, uh, President Muhammadu Buhari, as a then the former president, they made a lot of um, uh, subsidy in terms of uh, fertilizers and incentives to farmers. In short, that period saw some level of revolution in our agriculture. Now, I want you to also understand where I'm going to. It is not that Nigeria has not produced sufficient food, but the problem is because of what? Floating our naira, floating the currency, now made it more convenient for countries, brother, bro, brothers countries across West Africa to, imp, to take food from Nigeria because their currency has now gained more strength over the Naira. So they prefer to even import from Nigeria instead of going to Germany, instead of going to China, instead of importing from you know, France. They prefer to import from Nigeria because Nigeria, to some extent, due to the policy of President Mamadou Buhari, a lot of people went into mechanized farming, changing their scope from subsistence farming, and we had sufficient food. At some point, let me tell you, we said I had having problem when President uh, Tunubu, you know, policies came in. Yeah. But those policies are not really bad in there. It's to give increase to more productions and setting of companies to roles yes. to rule really investors, investors into Nigeria. Yes. But let me tell you where we missed it is because what President Bola Tunubu is doing right now, the wood have put all those into consideration before even uh, removing the subsidy. Yeah. Nigeria would have survived six more months from that May, uh, from May, third, from May 29, 29 to around maybe uh, September or October of, uh, of 2023 yeah. before suspending subsidy. They, I'm, I'm not saying they made a mistake. But it was what the president was should have done, and there was an thank you, and there was no and proper planning, no place. sufficient food, no sufficient fuel. You know, what we would have done, you know, we still depend on importation of fuel. We still depend on so many things. What the president would have done to some of the money they are now using for interventions here, intervention to state and order to bail out state, they would have invested that money to stock food, to stock PMS, and still give to people and that, would, that, that, and that would have the helped them to now start a strong campaign across Nigeria to the farmers, to oil producers, and even and even those investors to the oil companies. And now, now, in your in your opinion, yes. in your opinion, the the massive um, food import that you know the federal government yes. wants to adopt now, would it in any way yes. bring down food prices of across course, the country? Most definitely. Now, there's a I'm coming now. Approach. Now, you know. Um, additional, uh, I want to appreciate additional. I saw his uh, giant strides uh, in the African Development Bank, and uh, you know, the statements made by additional uh, is as if additional was not following or he didn't get the full details of the plans that Ashwa Jubola made. Actually, I'm not speaking for the government, but I read the full details of the um, the, the minutes after the uh, executive yeah, federal executive yeah. council meeting. It is just for a meantime. Why they, they are they also commencing a strong and a robust revolution in the agriculture? They want to engage more young people across Nigeria, and I think the figure they quote there is about uh, thousand. Now they are bringing two thousand tractors. Between now and ten years time, they are bringing ten thousand. Uh, between now and ten years, they are bringing ten thousand tractors, and they are engaging more young people in farm. To in agriculture, and that would be a sustainable approach. This is just a, sh a short, a short -term, term remedy. Remedy, remedy. To, it is, to, to the food it is not shortage in the country. It, like you said, it is not sustainable. It can't help the Africa of our dream. Uh, importation of food cannot help us grow our economy. But right now, we need certain measures. You know, you can when you open a business as a young man, you don't expect to start making profit immediately. Therefore, you need to save enough to help you stabilize your business between that day you open it and maybe six months or three months, depending on the kind of business you want to do. The same thing applicable here. You can't just shut the country and then through policies and expect people, you know, to, 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 to be productive. Hunger can make people die. Or, you know, inflation yeah. can make people die and it will even 
cause more problems than solving. And, and when the people are the hungry, problem. the country is not so, at peace. So I, I, I'm not supporting additional for that statement he made. You should go back to his drawing board and check what the president does and check some of the plans. And what we need here is not just to speak, is to help the government to make sure that what they've said, the hats on them. That's what I expect from additional and other people who feels that this policy is not a good one, considering that we want to go our own era, we want to go our own food and, and make Nigeria sufficient and the economy sustainable. Lastly, before we move on to the next item on our review this morning, it's on different opinions mm -hmm. as a national debate has unfolded on the introduction of community price boards to regulate the prices of this food that's going to be imported. Yes. Some are opposing it, saying that the government cannot be the ones to fix prices of commodities. Government have business in that business. First, government is putting a lot of money out. They are not even taking anything from the custom. They have removed waivers for the importation of rice and all that and some of the foods. So for, for the fact that you're not paying, for the fact that government has given waivers, that means government should also monitor the essence of this policy in the first place is not to maximize your profit and you know my own belief about businesses you know why nigeria has not flourished is not because we do not have policies but the human behavior most nigerians are only interested in growing richer and bigger not considering the people you know when the concept of your business is just about taking from the community taking from the country would have given are commensable back to the society you find out that we will not have a sustainable environment so because of our nature nigerians some of us are so callous some of us are so selfish so because of our nature as nigerians it is a good thing for government to set up committees to set up people that monitor or regulate the prices of these commodities now in the coming days we'll find out more focus as the federal government has labeled these plans as short-term measures to curb the rising food insecurity now i mean moving forward much like honorable desmond has said if there be fuel at affordable prices it might also bring down the cost of commodities of owing to a reduction in the cost of, of transportation production. a lot of these promises have been hinged on the coming on board of one of the largest single train refineries in the world with a 650,000 barrel capacity per day, Dangote has also told Nigerians to expect PMS come the month of August. August. This is captured on our next newspaper, the first newspaper. Well, um, on the first newspaper, uh, it reads, Dangote refinery supplies petrol in August amid challenges from IOCs. Um, August is here, honorable. Yeah. It's just around the corner. Oh, um, well. We have been waiting for these uh, supplies of PMS to the Nigerian local market since last year. Remember that this was actually commissioned by President uh, Wabuari. Yes. And they promised that by July, you know, July is just about some few months after this, the pronouncement of uh, suspension of uh, payment of subsidy by President Bola, Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Yes. And from that time till night has lingered due to some mechanical human uh, factors. Yes. So far so good, we heard that by August, unfailingly, we'll start having fun. Don't forget that. Dangote refinery is big enough to supply all the PMS that we need in, in West this. Africa. Okay. In West Africa. Not even in Nigeria. Not just in Nigeria. You know, they have a storage facility that can, that can sustain this country for 14 days, about 14, 15 billion, you know, uh, um, liters that can sustain us for complete 14 15 days, even without production, even without production, you know, or importation as well. Okay, and importation. So, if government knows what they are doing, they should see that Dangote refinery work at all costs. Apart from that, our refineries in Wari, our refineries in Kaduna, our refineries in Portakot, we have. Because monopoly is not very good. You know, they say power corrupts, absolute yes. power corrupts, Corrupt. absolutely. Yeah. So it is important we have check and balances. Government will use their own refinery to checkmate Dangote refinery. You don't allow Dangote to have his dinner, lunch, the way he wants it. We should monitor. And the only way you can monitor is not by policing him. It's a private entity, it's a private business. You can decide what he wants to sell to Nigeria. But when we have our refineries in place, it will help to check. And that is why I would like to urge to complement the effort of Dangote refinery 
to ensure that our refineries are put to work. Well, well, let, 